It's time to finally do the finale. Get this game over with. You might be thinking to yourselves, whoa, that's not the Pikmin you had before, D-Mike. What are you trying to do? Is this a bamboozle? No, sort of. So I've run through this final area probably a dozen times at least, and I have found that it is nearly impossible with the previous loadout of Pikmin that I had to be successful. It just wasn't fun to watch, it wasn't fun to play, not manageable in the slightest. So instead I went back to the Wistful Wild, trudged all the way back through the Dream Den, and here we are. So I think that that's enough work to consider a redo fair. I'm not upset about it, and that's what we're gonna do. So the treasure tracker is pointing us towards the middle of the map for some reason. Let's see what's going on. Is that Louie? Uh, well, first, let's go ahead and get our Pikmin ready to roll and see what's going on. Looks like he went rogue and decided to treasure hunt without us. It's not very good. Seems like our co-worker decided that he got a little greedy. But he's not looking so hot, so maybe we need to help him out. Let's give Louie some help. So this, my friends, is the final boss of the game. This is the Titan's Dweevil. This is the rightfully most difficult boss in the game. Um, it is brutal. It is not fun, in my opinion. Everything that can go wrong probably will go wrong. But I will tell you, you need to have your yellow Pikmin. It's really the only effective way to manageably kill this thing in an effort that's not going to make you go crazy. So just trust me on this one. It's why I went back and did things the way that I did. Um, this is just really tough to do. It's really unmanageable uh, by itself. It's got four different types of attacks. You've already seen one. That's the poison attack. It's going to switch between them. This is the water attack. This is the... This is the attack that you're going to want to try to mitigate first. And how do you do that? Well, as it's moving around, you're going to see that it has these four different items attached to its body. When you remove those items from its body by attacking it, you remove that attack from its arsenal. Now you're going to think to yourself, am I going to have to do this four times? Yes, yes you are. And this is not fun in the slightest. This is very difficult to do. Um, this thing can, as you've already seen it, can deflower your Pikmin, which is pretty uncool. So you're going to want to use all your sprays, bitter and spicy, to take this nasty thing out. It's definitely going to be incredibly difficult to manage. Your Pikmin will probably die in large numbers if you're not careful. I've seen no death runs of this, but like, I personally just can't fathom it. I don't know how did people do it. I'm not capable of it, I know that. But what you're gonna wanna do definitely is get this water pump off fast. That is 100% a fact. It is the nastiest item that it has of the four attacks. It can kill your Pikmin from a distance. It's the most range that it has. It's not the most dangerous to the Pikmin, but it's probably the most dangerous in general. Um, this is the second attack. This is the flamethrower. Also pretty nasty. That's its least ranged attack, but if it gets your if it gets your Pikmin at any uh, amount, you, they're pretty much just toast. So once it starts to use an attack, if it's not the water attack, every the water attack is probably the least threatening overall. Um, followed by electricity. But other than that, if it's fire, if it, oop, I already lost some. I don't think I lost yellows though. I think that those are probably my white Pikmin. Those are gonna be our sacrificial lambs, unfortunately. That water attack is ranged enough that it can kill your Pikmin all the way back at the exit geyser, which is insane. This fight in and of itself could probably just be its own episode. That's how difficult it is. 
Very, very frustrating. Um, there's no real easy way around it, I don't think. It's just brutal. Um, I mean, it is very fitting for a final boss. Using your spicy and bitter sprays, you just got to try to knock off that uh, that pump. Your yellows here are going to be so important. There you go. All right, that's one. Getting the getting the water spout off is great. We're going to get out of the arena here. For some reason, your Pikmin are sort of immune on the ramps. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but oops. You got to wait for the poison to completely clear the arena, though. Or else it doesn't count. This is another danger, um, is that your Pikmin will be obsessed with trying to carry the various items that are left. So... I'm just going to tell you in advance, it's really annoying. Probably in this case, you might want to wait until you've got the Pikmin um, in the electric attack before you have them clear it. Let's see what he's going to do next. All right, we'll use this to actually do that. Have your Pikmin carry it as fast as they can. Get it out of the arena. Because if you don't, they're just going to be obsessed. Constantly trying to pick it up and move it, which is annoying. It's not what you want, obviously. All right, so next we're going to go for the electric attack. We'll be interrupted by, <laughs> by this. Don't get too excited, everybody. Uh, the monster pump. It's worth a thousand Pocos, though, which is kind of crazy. So next we're going to go after the electrical one. I mean, I don't really have a method to how I do this. I'm just going to get the heck out of here. That's what I'm going to do. Let's go scoop up the other Pikmin. Yeah, that fire attack. Whew. I mean, all of them are really nasty, no matter how you slice it. Um, I'd say like the most, the second most annoying one is probably the, uh, the poison attack. This is this big purple nub here. Just run away from this. There's nothing you can do besides run. All right. And then we're going to go after the purple purple nub again. Getting yourself situated to attack it from the right angle is also really tough to do. Because it moves very, very quickly. But definitely getting that, that pump off first is super useful. Yeah, I would definitely say the poison attack is probably the next one you want to go for. It's definitely the most deadly. If I could get my Pikmin to cooperate here, he'd be able to go for it. All right, we're going to run from this. Run away. Some of our Pikmin are getting incinerated, I'm sure. Great. Oop. Oop. Sorry about that, yellows. Oh, poison. Try to keep as many alive as I can. Obviously, this is easier said than done. I just have to go for what's available, to be honest. It's the one thing that's annoying. But this fight is made more manageable, obviously, by the fact that yellow Pikmin are immune. So they can go right after the electric pump, or whatever it's called, the electric Magoo? I have no idea. This fight just takes a lot of mental energy just to even manage it. And these um, these weapons, each each of the four, they have a ton of uh, energy, HP, whatever you want to call it. So it just takes forever. You just got to really keep hammering them. Use all your sprays. You're probably going to use most, if not all of them. Actually helping us out here by using this electric attack over and over again. I like that. My yellows are immune. And they're still attacking it, which is cool. Just keeps going for that over and over again. Vibe with that. See if I can get them to latch onto the, the poison one. That's probably my least favorite here. I'm just gonna keep having them go for that. Olimar's gonna take a beating, but that's okay. Alright, so far so good. The fire one is definitely the easiest to avoid, thankfully. All of our white Pikmin have since been murdered, sadly. 
keep that. Poison one going. If I can get that one off, that's probably my least favorite one to deal with. It's just, it just creates a lot of chaos. So, if you can get that one off as soon as possible. There we go, beautiful. So we're down to the two attacks left. We have the Electro Bomb and then uh, the Fire one. So let's go ahead and get this out of the arena. Yes, and using the electricity is actually really good because your Pikmin won't be phased by that. At least your yellows won't be. Have them remove that. I'm not trying to interrupt the fight with these treasures being gathered up by the, uh, the Pikmin. So apologies for the vibe being changed a little bit, but trust me, it's a... Uh, a necessity. This is the comedy bomb, the poison spewer. So far, so good. All right. Now imagine trying to do this with uh. Imagine trying to do this with fifteen with fifteen yellows. It'd just be impossible. All right. So he's gonna still do the electric attack. Oop, camera angle's getting all messy. So we're just gonna keep. Okay, we've broken that one off. That was actually a lot faster than I expected it to be. Electric attack is gone. Oops. I incinerate all the rest of my yellows. Oh boy, this is chaos. Nope, oh, hang in there. Hang in there. Try to recover as many of these guys as I can. Alright, so far so good. That was a little, little messy. You need to make sure that you at least have uh, 30 Pikmin left when you're done here. If you don't, then you're not going to be able to beat this boss. Completely get all the treasures. Each treasure weighs 30, so... Now we can just kind of go for broke here. Treasure number three. The Shock Therapist. This has been a shock to our system, I tell you that. Alright. So with our... Oh, I guess it didn't kill all the white Pikmin. I thought it did. Alright, so we just have the fire attack left. He's not going to be doing anything else besides fire. We seem to run away from this. Stick to the outside. Around the outside, around the outside. And if I can just get my Pikmin to latch onto this, onto the flamethrower. I'm not trying to incinerate my squad here. Sorry, guys. The casualties of war. Uh, poor yellows. I'm trying to go back and rescue them, but it's probably not worth it. This is the one of the, the toughest parts. Is just it's when you get to that final phase. You just gotta make sure you got the thirty left. Oh, is that one surviving just by being on the back side of it? It might be. That's awesome. He's alive! He made it! The unexpected hero at the end of the movie. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, don't want this, don't want this. No, 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 no. My numbers are dwindling, but I think we'll be able to manage this. Oops. That was not good. That is not good. That's not good. Can't have you getting all discombobulated on me now, fellas. We've almost got it down, I think. Maybe. Oops. Oh, this is chaos. This is pure chaos. Hang in there, guys. Alright. It's not looking good. We're gonna be cut cutting it close. Oh boy. Will I have enough to even carry back the final prize? My white Pikmin are gonna have to help out on this one. I have to be very, very cautious for this final bit. I'm gonna run away. 
Can't even, can only lose one more. I don't want to do that. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, there's Pikmin that I've been picking up. Pick, pick, pick it up. Just got to try to get that, uh, that flamethrower off. Got one potion left. Just going to wait for him to do his cycle so that way I can reset and just move along. There we go. We'll be safe over here. All right, so hopefully we can get one good full attack cycle in here with my remaining Pikmin. Yes. All right. Now, I don't know how dangerous this thing is without any of its weapons, but looks like it sells a ton of uh, HP. Hopefully we can just attack it freely here. I feel like we might have kind of neutered it a little bit. I'm trying to get my last potion to be worthwhile here. Yeah, I think it's in pretty dire straits now that we've gone and attacked it. And thankfully, I don't believe that it can put the weapons back onto its body. As far as I know, that would be completely cruel and unfair for a final boss yeah I can't even imagine I had like I said there have been um, no death runs of this and I'm just thinking to myself how but viewers we've done it the Titan Dweevil is no more and we cut it as close as you can get Louis, you rascal. We didn't have to save you, but we did. Are your, oh, I thought he said all oh, your little functions fade. He does have little functions. He's always running into trouble, that's for sure. Oh, viewers. That's for sure. That's probably where you belong, Louis. Maybe like Pikmin 3 all tied up. All right. So, with all of our yellows that we've got left, we'll have them carry... The flamethrower. Have the president bring the white Pikmin here. Everybody's gonna have to band together. Bring it up to the, the radar. I don't know. I mean, it says we have 31 Pikmin. I don't know where that final yellow got to. Oh, it's with Olimar. I don't know how many Pikmin it takes to carry Louie, but just one. Look at that, viewers. The perfect amount, 31 Pikmin is all you need. We're all out of sprays. Bitter and spicy. Our Pikmin fought valiantly. This would not have been possible with probably any other combination. I mean, maybe if I wasn't so horrible at this game, but... Oh, the Flare Cannon. Treasure four of four, but the final treasure of all. Louie. As our yellow Pikmin slowly drags him to the, uh, to the radar. <laughs> Only worth 10 Pocos. The king of bugs. Louie. And viewers, that is the final boss with the final treasures for Pikmin 2. Let's get out of here. So I lost 69 Pikmin. Nice. Um, these are the final four treasures of the game from the Titan Dweevil. And that is a cave complete. Back to the Wistful Wild one last time. That is every treasure in the game. Time for a finale.
Bye bye, Pigman. This is the last time that Olimar and Louie will see you until the next time that Olimar and Louie see you. Although technically, I'm not sure what happens to Louie after this. Maybe he just gets permanently, you know, banned from Hokotate Freight because he sucks, but... Olimar, as we've seen, already went back to PNF 404 to do some more treasure hunting. And now they creepily sing in unison. Probably that's the song of uh, their ancestors saying, please don't come back. You've murdered so many of us. These are the onions spraying repellent on our ship so that way we go away and we never come back. It did not work, unfortunately. So the presidential ship and all its very not HD glory. You can't high res a cutscene, folks. But that's it. That was Pikmin 2. Whew, what a fun game. Um, this is definitely the one that I remember the most fondly. I didn't have Pikmin 1 growing up. I played it. But this is the first one that I actually owned myself. So this one is near and dear to my heart. Very special. And uh, yeah, it was a treat sharing it with you. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 2. I'll catch you for the next Let's Play. Bye.